right here with a nice intro song for episode one. Haven't heard this one too many times yet, but hearing it right now, gotta say, might have to add this one to the gym playlist already. We'll see. Let's get going here. So here we are with episode one of Red Letter Day. I gotta tell you, sitting back and doing this for the first time, the first thing I have to say is that I am excited. I am extremely excited to be doing my own podcast for the first time right now. Doing a podcast, it's something that I've been looking forward to doing for the past few years, but never really pulled the trigger on it until now in large part to being busy. But, you know, something I've learned more and more recently than ever is that you can't use that as an excuse for yourself. It just doesn't work. It doesn't add up at all. You put it on yourself. You choose to have a jam-packed life. You choose not to have a jam-packed life. Life is too short to say that you can't do something. You can't go out. You can't do this. You got to have your fun and you got to work hard at the same time. So to combat that, guess what? If you think you're a busy person, I'm telling you right now, you can do more. You got to keep your mind occupied. Keep yourself rolling. Keep yourself focused. And that's what I'm going to do with this podcast. That's my plan for this right now. That's the entire goal of this. Keep moving along. Have some fun along the way. And do something that I consider extremely productive for me. And hopefully for you listening as well. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Nick Rapallo. I am 20 years old, living in South Jersey at the moment. I currently go to Rutgers University. I'm still involved with youth sports. I played ice hockey growing up. I also played baseball. With those three things right there, I'm sure you could already tell that I'm a big sports fan, which uh, you'll find out very quickly. I also love music, and definitely if you have any good TV shows or movies, hit me up whenever you want because I always need something to watch. So we got a lot going on, a lot of fun things in life right now, and I'm planning on this podcast being one of them to add to that list. So right there for you, there's a laundry list of my life. You know, usually here I'm, I don't plan to talk about myself that much, if at all, honestly. I'll talk about experience as such and funny things that have happened to me, but I don't plan to go full in-depth analysis of the inner workings of my life. If I wanted to do that, I would shell out some money somewhere. Probably, let's go, uh, we'll go local therapist for this one. You know, we're always talking about saving small business, so I'm not sure if a local therapist falls into the small business category, but I feel like that word local just makes it small business, so... We'll stick with that for right now. We'll stick with the local therapist is where I would go to talk about myself. Not here on this podcast. I would probably do this anywhere but on the podcast. You know, just pretty much talking about myself elsewhere. Not here. I don't think this is the platform to do that. And in my opinion, I want to talk about more than that. So I digress with that a little bit. But what I really want to do is use this podcast as a platform. I'm not here to reinvent the wheel. The wheel has already been invented, and it works pretty well from what I've seen, but I am here to give you perspective. And there are many topics that I want to dive into, discuss, just to give everybody that different perspective. Topics that we don't think about every day, if we even think about them at all. Topics where you hear me talk about it, hear it mentioned on the cast, and you go to yourself, you know what, that does make sense. I never thought about it in that light. Maybe you hear me say something, And you go, that's probably the dumbest thing that I've ever heard this kid say. I don't know what planet he's on at the moment. And you know what, with me, I'm fine with either opinion. Either opinion, liking or disliking something that I say, or liking or disliking something in general, leads to discussion. And I'm all for discussion. That's what we're going to go with. Having that discussion brings out that different perspective that I believe a lot of people are missing. At some point as well, here I do believe that using the platform to have guests on would be fantastic. There are definitely some great people, some great, great, awesome people that I do know that I would think fit this mold more than anybody I can imagine. And what is that mold that I do mention? Well, it's the mold of this podcast. You know, people I want to have on are going to fit the ideas I have for this. Mostly friends of mine, I would say, 
who are definitely well motivated, have a plan every single day they get up out of bed and inspire me to get out of bed in the morning and get after it no matter how I feel that day. Not really so much people that are sitting back, chilling out, waiting for life to slap them across the face. I want to talk to people that are getting after it on a daily basis. People that wake up every day and say, let's go, let's get better, let's be better than we were yesterday. People that hustle, people that work hard. A lot of people that I see out there, they're, they're pretend hustlers. You know, they pretend to work hard. They're busy pretending to work hard, not actually working hard. One thing I've started to do in regards to that, and I do this, let's say, at school a lot, you know, when I'm in a situation where I'm not with all of my good friends, you know, just people that I see on a daily basis. And a lot of good people I see on a daily basis, but people that I don't have that connection with, like my high school friends or family for that matter. But what I do is I, I sit in the back of rooms, back of places, you know, and just watch. You know, keep my mouth shut, really, for the most part. Stick to myself. Lay low. But at the same time, know exactly what is going on. Who is doing what. Who's on the ball. Who's not on the ball. And there are people that I know. People that I've come across in my life. Like I said, who have that fake work hard mentality. And that's tough to, tough to grasp. Because, you know, those people, they're living in some sort of fantasy land. I can equate it to. Thinking that if something is hard, it isn't worth doing. Sitting in nice little semicircles of friends who have the same mindset, gassing each other up about absolutely nothing, posting every second of your life on Instagram or Snapchat, Facebook. Facebook probably for the uh, over 35 group, Instagram for the under 30 group. And then I'd say that, that 30 to 35 range, it's a tough range. You know, you're on Instagram, you're on Facebook. Snapchat, high school, you know, if you're at a high school, at a college on Snapchat, it's tough. It is tough, but you can't, you can't equate all of these socials into one group, which is the hard part. So just assume all of social media will go with, you know, but instead of wasting your time posting every single thing, you can post some good stuff. You know, I post good stuff you know, every once in a while. You have a nice little trip, you post about it. Good, good for you. But not every day, not every living second. Do something productive. Grow in silence, my friends. Grow in silence. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. And that's the best thing you will do for yourself. If you grow in silence, one day people are going to come around the corner, you know, and see you. And they go, man, you know, it's been a while. Haven't seen you. How's everything going? How's life been treating you? And you take the time, you stop, you fill them in. And they walk away from that conversation saying to themselves, wow, you know, that kid has his head on straight. He's got his shit together. He's working hard. Be by yourself. Grow. And let everyone see that your hard work has paid off. You've got the life you wanted, and no one can take that away from you, no matter how old you are. You could be 20 like myself and think that you've got all the things you want. You could be 40. You could be 60. You could be 10. You know, a lot of people develop these mindsets differently. But when you have the life you want, no one can take that away from you, no matter what. The only person who can take that life away from you is you. Others can and will judge you behind your back, sure. Say you're going life about the wrong way, sure. But in the end, it's your opinion that matters. The opinions of others are totally irrelevant when you believe in self and you believe in what you are doing. That's the key. Believe in self. Believe in the concepts. That's it. So now let me sit here and tell you something that you may or may not realize. Take a step back for me. Remove yourself from the world just for a minute. Not into that fantasy land, not into that reality, but just think about something that you've really wanted to do. Something that you're very, very passionate about that no one really knows you're passionate about. For me, it's doing this podcast. That's what we're going to come back to. Did any of my friends think I would do this? I'd say probably not. Is this going to set the world on fire right from the start? Once again, I'd say probably not. Right now, I'd be happy if my brother listened to it. When it comes out, that's fine with me. If he's the only one, good. There we go. We got one. We got one listener, and there we go. But what are you passionate about? Once you have that, ask yourself this question. If I'm so passionate about this, 
Why am I not doing it if I am so in love with it? Most likely, I don't have all the answers. I don't pretend to have all the answers. But for this, I have to say that most likely, the answer is because you're afraid of the opinions of others. In fact, you're probably most worried about what some of your closest friends might think or say. And that's the scariest part. Going back to how I said I didn't really start a podcast until now because I had a lot going on. Yes, that's true. That's always true. That's true for most of us in things that we're not doing. You can't fit everything into life. I do understand that. But there's also a part of me, too, that would think if I did do something like this, what would people think? How would they react? What would they say? I have those feelings just like everybody else, you know, thinking about what others might say about you, what they might not even saying about you, might saying about the idea of you or the ideas that you are presenting. But what I've been able to do recently is learn how to put those to the side, those feelings to the side, and do what I want to do without worrying what anybody else is going to say. Someone's talking negatively about you. It goes back to the point of what exactly are they doing at the moment? Why do they even have the time or the energy to put you down for something you love? I heard this somewhere uh, at some point. Definitely cannot tell you where. Can't tell you where right now. It's escaping my mind. If you, if you do know, please let me know because I love to give credit where credit is due. But the topic of conversation was, it was basically discussing what, we'll, we'll use the term haters. You know, that, that's the easiest word I feel like to use. Or the people that are going against you, people that don't believe in what you're doing. You know, people that are just hating on your lifestyle, what you say, your life choices. And the topic of conversation here was talking about these haters and elite athletes. You know, these guys and girls who grind every single day to get to the pinnacle of their sport, the top of the mountain, and they work hard to do this. You know, you go on social media nowadays and you see a lot of hate those keyboard warriors, Twitter heroes, calling out an athlete, you know, for what? For what exactly? What are they being called out for? Are they calling people out to get satisfaction, to put a smile on their own face? Let's take a guy, let's look at um, Mike Trout, for example. We'll get one of the best baseball players of this generation. He's a guy, he definitely, definitely... I would have to say, gets hate on social media. I think every athlete does at some point. You know, you have a bad game, somebody's saying something to you. You can't escape that. But if he does get this hate, is Mike Trout going on YouTube and roasting somebody in the comment section because he doesn't like what they are doing? Is he calling out people on his socials? No. No freaking way. Mike Trout is out there working his ass off to be the greatest baseball player of this generation taking hundreds and hundreds of reps a day to become the greatest, to remain the greatest. He's not out there spreading hate or taking other people down. He's not talking bad about his peers, other athletes. And he's not talking bad about those people on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram that are calling him out. He's working hard. Worry about yourself, my friends. If you do that, I guarantee you will be happier with whatever you are doing. Once you tune out, the negative noise in your life, possibilities are endless. They are endless. And all of that, I believe, comes back to why I am doing this podcast. For one, I want to do something that I know I will enjoy. And to do that, I had to realize that focusing on myself and surrounding myself with friends and family who are on the same mental wavelength as myself would not only benefit me, but I believe them as well. I'm not a person who talks about others when they are not in the room. I believe my true friends can attest to that for me. And for that reason, I was able to get the concept of what others had to say out of my head. Let others have their own opinion of you. Because let me tell you, if someone already developed an opinion about you without knowing the true you, they have most certainly made a mistake. Not you. A person only talks negatively about you because in their head, they know they can't match you in the aspect of being a genuinely good person, a good individual. So I'm going to do my reps, you know, I'm going to do what I like to do, I'm going to say what I want to say here, I'm going to be the hardest worker in the room, no matter what someone says, and if you decide to listen to what I have to say, I hope you'll develop that same mindset. Being the hardest worker in the room, I tell my friends all the time, you know, I love when I see my friends work hard, when I see others work hard, it's a great thing to see, 
But I tell them this. I go, you're working hard. I see it. I respect it. I love seeing it. But the one thing I'm going to tell you is if we're going to compare working hard, no one's going to work harder than me. That's just not going to happen. And it's not an ego thing. It's not trying to be better than somebody else. Your goal should never be to be better than somebody else. It should be the best version of you for you. The one thing I've seen actually The Rock say, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, you know, it's that he's going to be the hardest worker in the room. He'll say it to your face. I will outwork you. That's not to say that you can't work just as hard or try to work harder, but you're not going to outwork that guy. And let me tell you, if me, if me and The Rock are ever in the same room together, maybe it happens. Maybe, maybe at some point I will meet The Rock. You know what? Maybe it comes up who works harder. And I can tell you, I know he won't back down and I won't back down. So we'll have a nice little, nice little discussion. You know, this conversation I've had play out in my head. You know, with me and The Rock. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So, you know, with that, just know you got to work hard. You got to do your thing. Don't think what other people have to say and just continue on your path. You know, a lot of people have been talking about the U.S. presidents lately. Since we're name dropping, a lot of people will go this route. So I'll give you a president. I'll give you somebody for you. How about Richard Nixon? You know, I bet you didn't think you would hear his name in March of 2021. I don't know how many of you had his name on your bingo sheets, but if you did, mark it down. If you didn't, move along. You know, the next name drop, I'm sure you'll get. But a lot of people, I'm sure the older generation have more of an opinion on this man than my generation does. You know, my generation simply just knows him as a president. We didn't live through what went on then. But uh, I have actually read his um, book in the past, you know, a book about his life, a book about his career. And there was something that I saw that he said, and it stuck with me. You know, it stuck with me, and I believe it relates to this topic extremely well. And it's that you have to always remember, others may hate you, but those who hate you don't win unless you hate them, and then you destroy yourself. Those sentences pretty much sum up everything I believe I've said today. And I think it's a message you should be carrying with you in order to ignore the negativity that may be coming your way at any point in your life. So that's all I have for you today on this first episode of Red Letter Day. I kind of like RLD, so we'll see if that sticks anywhere. Shorten it up a little bit, hyphenate it, whatever we want to do. I like RLD, so we'll see if that sticks. With that, I just got to say, do your thing, pick a path and stick to it, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Before completely wrapping this up today, though, I do have to give a big, huge shout out to Miss Cameron Barr for helping me get this whole thing up and running. I have to say she was awesome at helping me get some ideas for this out into the open, developing the name, taking some even better pictures that we got to use. Super talented friend of mine, always working hard behind the scenes for Pinelands Regional. Definitely go check out her stuff. For now, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed what you heard, you can follow the Instagram page. It's going to be at Red Letter Day Podcast. For now, episodes are going to be found through a link in the bio, and I'll be posting updates and other good content on the page. Probably going to be giving some Monday morning motivation type stuff, you know, getting some good songs out there, songs that deserve some love, songs that you may not have heard in a while, all around some good stuff. So be sure to give it a follow. And hopefully sooner rather than later, you'll be able to access these episodes wherever you do listen to your podcast. For now... Those are my takes. Love them or hate them. I'm going to keep making them. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the flip side.